I walked down the street dressed as a screwdriver. I turned a few heads. <laughs> oh, flap oh, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Here's four reasons you might find IPTV's not working. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so the first one, most people who use IPTV, as we like to say here, use streaming devices such as Fire Sticks. And the first thing you want to rule out is there's not an issue with your device. Now, a good way to do this is by simply playing some content inside an official app. So if you open up such as YouTube, see if that works all right for you. Usually what you'll find if YouTube plays fine, no buffering, everything loads up as normal, there's not an issue with your device. Now reason number two is something that is very simple but very easy to miss. And all this one is, is has your subscription expired? If it has, you're going to find that nothing works, but it is something that is missed quite a lot. Now a good way to check this is usually on one of the more popular apps for IPTV on the home screen screen it'll come up on the bottom it'll say expires or expired and then a date next to it otherwise you can just go to settings account and it should tell you in there now reason number three is something you can't really do anything about and that could be because the service themselves might be having issues now this could be a problem with their servers they could be updating their servers they could be switching stuff around but this is something you can't really do anything about now reason number four is something that's very common and we see a lot and this is called ISP blocking and what this is your internet service provider can stop you being able to watch certain streams or links from certain sites now a good way to know if you're being affected by ISP blocking is such as on a Saturday for example around midday or 3 p.m everything stops working then around 8 p.m you'll find everything works as normal now this can happen at different times during different days but isp blocking doesn't happen constantly it's usually for a set amount of time now i know a lot of people don't like me mentioning them but the best way to get past this is by using a vpn now i'm guessing if you use these kind of apps you probably already got a vpn if you haven't i'll leave a link in the description down below you can check a couple out i've used for a very long time but all you do is once you've got your vpn install it to your streaming device load it up connect to a server and then this should bypass any of those blocks now the links I've left in the description down below are affiliated so they do help support the channel but they give you the best deals as well but don't feel obliged to click on those you can have a look around at different reviews and see which VPN might be best for you but that is the best way to get around those right if I have missed anything please let me know in the comment section down below and also don't use the comment section as a way to sell anything this video is not for that purpose but yeah that's it for this one hopefully this video helped a couple of people out because then it was worth making right so that being said i hope you enjoyed the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon is it <laughs>